Hi, it's Restroom Protos Expert, and I'm looking at another track that we're going to look at within Pro Tools to see what we can do with the Pro Tools instruments that it comes with. So this is all free gear in Pro Tools again. And the track today is Sean Paul's Other Side of Love. It's a nice track. It's really cool. And actually, it's using some of the, the, the techniques I've shown in previous videos, uh, things like uh, sine basses that give you that really lovely low sub bass, so sine wave basses. And then we use some square waves as well. So often when I'm making sounds within Pro Tools for, for, for tracks like this, uh, I'll be using stuff that I make myself rather than presets. And it's much quicker than going through thousands of presets it's getting used to how sounds are created so uh, if you've heard this track I'm quickly going to show you what I've done so far with it. I've also taken the actual vocal and I've done some editing with it to chop it up so you can hear it in context because actually this will really make sense when I put his vocal back in and now because of YouTube restrictions I can't play you whole tracks but what I'm going to do is chop them up and uh, that should mean it's okay on YouTube but who knows uh, I'm sure somebody will put me right in the comments if they think I am wrong uh, that's normally the case anyway let me show you uh, so so far I've got so basically it's made up of three things it's made up of a bass guitar uh, boom and then a, a square wave so here's the track and further on you got this Picks up a bit, bit of snare coming in here. Now the the cool thing is, and this was with if you if sometimes you want to do really tight stuff, especially in MIDI, uh, what you'll hear is that the bass and the uh, let me just turn the square. In fact, everything is tight together. So, for example, the kick on boom. Uh, if I open this in the MIDI editor window for a second, uh, if we open these up in a bigger window like this, and we go in somewhere to here, let's say, and we come here on the left and we turn everything on, you will see, uh, in particular. Everything's all tight together often, you'll see. that. So uh, there's the bass, and, and let me just turn the square off for a second, but the bass, the boom and the bass are actually the kick drum, if you'll see, sits on the same notes as the uh, bass guitar. So if you can see here, dun, 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 there's a little bit of change there, but that's those are kicks there. I mean, let me go in closer for a second just to show you this. So all these are kicks, and all these are the bass sound. If we play that. Go here with there's no hi hat, and see here that's the, that's a kick. Oh, let's just put that back in before I delete it. And the square the same. We put the square in. You then see as well there. Put that square back on. Now you'll hear it playing with it. So let me show you, we got Boom, and Boom's playing a 909 kit. And this bit, it's just kick and clap. And I've put a, a, a comp on it. Let's go back to that bit again in the track. You can hear that's the difference that makes. It's really pulling up the kick drum. It's in the crush setting. Then we've got an EQ 7 band. Just adding some low mid and some air in there. And then the bass is a mono sign. And then I've added some subsonic bass in as well. But basically it's this first. It's just doing this. Put this synth bass in as well. Just thickens it up a bit, just not too much. And when the boom's in it, get that lovely bouncing bass. And again, we've got a, a comp in there, some gentle limiting in there. 
hardly touches it. We could pull a bit more in if we wanted to. But I don't really want it doing too much, I just want it now and again just tapping the top of it, just kissing it, in the words of uh, Dave Pensado, just kissing the needle. So you can hear that happening there. Then for the the top line you can hear, I've just put a mono square and I've just gone back down to my basics again and created a mono square. And you can see it there. Just hear that for a second now. Just turn for a second the distortion and the vintage off because the mono square it wouldn't be expanded. It's probably using a, 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 a Moog or something. Bit of detune in there. But then when we do add the distortion in, give it a bit more a bit more dirt, then a vintage filter. We hear the three out again. Original. And we're on the low pass twelve, not the low pass twenty-four, because we only want a bit. A band of low pass there. Bit of resonance in. That will add you a bit more body. Bit more fat. Put those three in together. So as I say, if you're using, a, if you use the step editor and you actually draw the notes in, you'll get a much better sound rather than trying to play it all in, because it will be tight. And then here, got some hi-hat in as well. Bit of snare there as well, I'm going to make the bit a bit longer the decay on that. That's 909, all of that. Now, as you can hear it in context, because it'll make a lot more sense with the voice in, uh, I've chopped the voice up a bit and had a bit of fun with it. So, what I've done is I've taken a. Let me show you what I've done with the voice. Here's the original track all together, just for a second. Just there's a bit of it here. I'll just turn a bit on, just quickly. One second of it. And I've put the air kill EQ in it. Yep, so that's in. So first thing I've done is put the air kill EQ in, which means that I've taken all the instruments out virtually. And the air kill EQ is really cool, so I've turned off the low, and a bit of tuning with a frequency here, and you can end up then with... Hardly any there. And more tuning. Still got the, the clap in there. But mainly vocals, which is what I want. And then what I've done then is I've added in as well, if I get to this bit here, an air reverb, a dynamic delay, and a chorus. And then I've chopped it all up a bit to make a, a completely different vocal part. Uh, just a bit of fun really. But then I can put it in the rest of the track and we can hear it here. So hear it here first. And those stutters are just chopped up audio. And then here I've put this in. What we could do finally then is put a master in, and we could also then add in uh, from Maxim. Let's find Maxims here somewhere. There we go. And just give it a bit more. Squash that a bit more. Shorten that 
set, clap again. And hear it there again. So there we go, a instance of boom, uh, two instances of expand, a uh, couple of free effects, and uh, you've got a pretty good sound. So again, I'm using that not so that you can go and now make a karaoke version of the same song, that's not the point of these videos, it's to show you how these songs are constructed, and square waves are used a lot, and sine waves are used a lot in this kind of music at the moment, so that's how they're getting the sounds, 909 drum machines as well. So those are the kind of components of a lot of dance uh, tracks at the moment, and so uh, go and try them out for yourself. So nice sine wave basses, nice square top ends, uh, vintage filters, some distortion, a little bit of EQ and a lot of compression and you are well on your way uh, to getting those kind of sounds in your tracks as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.